Welcome back. Now that we have recruited Edwin, now would be a good time to do his quest. Yes. But also to do um, if you wish. another NPC's quest at the same time because they take place, well, in the same place. And uh, so we're about to boot another character as well. And there are some biographies I haven't read yet, so what is it now? Let's go through Edwin's biography. When asked about how he came to be in the employ of the Shadow Thieves, Edwin sneers that it is none of your business. In his opinion, you were lucky enough to have encountered him at all, and further inquiries beyond this initial boon will only serve to tempt the fates. Despite his obstinate nature, there is a hint that his present circumstance is not all that favorable, and his willingness to join with you contradicts his supposed distaste for the company of others. Edwin ignores speculation about his recent past, but he does appear to have placed less emphasis on the Red Wizard colors he has so brazenly displayed in the past. It is an understandable act for a wizard traveler and mage fearing on. So he's very stingy with uh, comments about his past, so we don't really know how he ended up here or what he was doing in the employ of the Shadow Thieves. But we know he was eager to leave them and uh, wish to travel with us instead. Okay, Minsk. We have never read his biography yet. Yet he's the first NPC we recruited with uh, Jahira. When asked about his past, Minsk proclaims that he is a berserker warrior from the nation from the nation of Rashomon in the Utter East, though his affinity for animals speak to his skill as a ranger as well. He originally came to the Sword Coast on a Dajema, a ritual journey to manhood, as the bodyguard of a young Wiklaren it's Wiklaren of Rashomon of a young Wik Yeah, Wiklaren of Rashomon named Dinahir. To his shame, Dinahir is now dead, and he fears that the doors of the honored Ice Dragon Berserker Lodge are forever closed to him. This personal tragedy has obviously not strengthened Minsk's hold on reality, as evidenced by his continued dependence on his animal companion Boo, a creature that he claims is a miniature giant space hamster. Apparently such things do exist somewhere in the realms, but Minsk has surely taken too many blows to the head. And Don't bother someone else. Yeah, he still has this uh, this rodent with him, and uh, this squeak is is actually a human voice saying squeak and sped up. It's not a it's not an actual uh, hamster sound, which I find pretty funny. By the way, Edwin is wearing an amulet which we cannot take. He angrily knocks our hand aside. Keep your paws off this amulet, it is a memento of day and you shall not touch it. But it's actually a really good amulet because it uh, adds additional spell uh, spells to, I think, each level. Or at least the first few ones. So it makes him a very potent spellcaster. He had the same thing in uh, Baldur's Gate 1 as well. As for Jahira... When asked about her past, Jahira glares as she speaks. She says that she was born in the Tithia region to a loyalist of the King Alamander regime. A loyalist of the King Alamander regime, right. Unfortunately, during the Tithirian Civil War, her family was among the nobles targeted by the angry mobs of peasants and she was only spared because of because a servant girl took her from their castle before it fell. An enclave of druids in the forest of Tethir was willing to grant shelter, and Jahira grew up headstrong in their care. She believes the only way to protect nature is to have an active role in the world, but the cost of this dedication seems to weigh heavily on her mind these days. She grows quiet when you ask about recent events, and why she gives the appearance of her normal, strong-willed self, there is a look of doubt in her eyes. It would seem that she has seen too many friends fall to remain unaffected. She does not like the subject and lets it drop. Mince and Boo stand ready. What? So this is for our companions. I believe I did read yes, Viconia's. Right? Yep, I think so. Who stands adorst? Huh? 
And Jan Janssen yeah, as well. Yeah. So Now it's time to say bye to Minsk. Uh, I know it came as a surprise that I kept him long uh, and it's as long as it has been because he doesn't really fit the alignment of our party. But he was a very useful fighter mainly because of the Lilar Core sword, the sword plus three. And against certain things like golems, we needed a uh, plus three weapon. Would that be better than the male of the dead? Uh, probably. And I really shouldn't be keeping these around. Okay, arrows. I don't know who should be keeping that. We're really out of space. Oh, okay. Jahira could keep them. And this key, the Beastmaster key, we could probably get rid of it, but I'm kind of paranoid with keys. Oh, and Bitcoin could get the Ring of Protection plus one. Why not? Unless perhaps Zeko, no. Mm, I'm gonna give it to Viconia. Okay, well that's the end for Minsk. Every hamster has uh. his day. Mm. And Jan is slowed. Jan Jansen at your service. Uh. Yes, yes, a standard. Because now we recruit a new NPC, Corgan. It is done. I hate um, I hate the heat, the squalor, the desperation. Everyone has a silver tongue here. I hate the stagnant land, tepid brew. Oh, Prince, you'd hear me tale then? Yes, tell us your tale then, dwarf. Belly up, comrades, and let Corgan flail the bladder for a spell. A fortnight passed, me fellows and I were in the midst of ob ob obtaining an ancient text for a patron when a skirmish visited our midst. Vile words, alas, became a lake of bloodshed. So it goes the sacred grimoire near made it to our benefactor's hand. And now he awaits its arrival with a zeal reserved for a grog blossom in an ale keg. The scuttlebutt is the peace. The scuttlebutt is the pay is handsome. I'm not sure that makes sense anyway. And worthy of note. Sacks of loot and odd magics. The volume sits not far from here. And the bibliomaniac, he paces the floor in the meantime. Who is this book collector? Why his interest in this particular time-worn manual? Pimlico collects books just for the pleasure of collecting. Arcane, bizarre, peculiar, it matters not. Upon hearing of a curious map, chart or book, he's traveled countless leagues to obtain it, fearful of entrusting his commission to anyone else. This were his first outside hire. As for the book itself, it may matter to me what lays twixt its skins. I'll not risk knowing I've bled for Elminster's memoirs or a dread slob lolly receipt, uh, recipe. This called the Book of Kaza. Where's the book then, Corgan? In some hobnailed tomb over in the lower crypts of the Grave District. It's nay abandoned, but rumors and half-truths only scare the young and infirm. Keep the curious away, me guess. Well, is there something we should know about this tomb? Well, it'll take far more than a few shambling bags of skin and stitches to deter Corgan blood axe from a king's ransom. A foolhardy jaunt into a hive of undead. How could you resist? Hmm, very well. I need to gather a large amount of gold to rescue a friend, so I'll join you. Drink hail! Then let us pass haste to the crypt and riches beyond Kent. 
You should know, I intend to hunt down a rather powerful wizard by the name of Arminicus. There's considerable danger involved. So long as ye helps me plunder me tomb as I ask, I'll join ye in skinning ye mage, if it pleases ye. The mage will be no danger with an axe in his belly, sure enough. Well, goodbye Minsk, we don't have any space for him anymore. Who needs to know? Did you want us to remain with the group? No, I think you should go. Boo does not like goodbyes, but I know we will meet again. Until then, I will seek the small and fuzzy to console, console Boo. Where do you want to meet up again? Uh, wait right here. We can tell him to go to the copper coronet, but there's no point, because he's already just there. What? As I thought. So we now have Corgan in the party. Be quick with it! And he's a neutral evil dwarf. I think in, in the vanilla game he's lawful evil, but his his demeanor, in my opinion, really shows a neutral evil alignment, so I change him to that. And he starts with a level up right away, where we can put a point in something. He's already Grandmaster in Axis. And then, not sure if I should push two-handed weapon style or if I should push another um, another skill skill instead. He also has a point in warhammers, although Zekul will be the warhammer specialist. That's a pretty good question. I think I'm gonna put the point in two-handed weapon style. Because he'll probably end up dual wielding at some point. Right? Mm. Right. What do you want, growling? So let's read his biography as well. When asked about his past, Corgan growls that unless you want to end up like the members of his last cum-sucking, traitorous party, you'd best keep your over-curious nose to yourself. Seeing as the dwarf is only slightly short of a necklace of ears in proving his enjoyment of slaughter, you decide to obey his request. Me axe be bloody ready! Huh? So he won't say much about himself. Simple. He's a killing machine. He's also a berserker, like uh, Zekul. But he's pure class, so... Uh, that will make him, in time, a stronger fighter than Zekul. Although he will, of course, miss all the... the clerical abilities, of course. Right now we have about the same deck. Oh yeah, he has six, I have six. Although, with a better magical weapon, he starts with a plus one axe, but I did find... The Battle Axe plus 3 Frost Reaver in um, the Dearney's Keep, so he's gonna start with that instead. And I certainly have a better armor for him. Okay, Mail of the Dead will go back to Viconia. Whoops. Okay, he's gonna wear plate mail. We also have the Girdle of Piercing, which he could wear. He has only a small shield. Here we have a Buckler plus one. Well, Buckler plus one would already be better. But... I guess at some point we, we, we will want a real large shield. Uh, we're gonna start with the Buckler plus one. It doesn't provide protection against missile weapons, but uh, the Girdle of Piercing is there for that, so overall it'll be good. Uh -huh. So he does have a helmet, is there anything else I could give him? Perhaps a sling? Ah. 
Let's type the number because otherwise it'll take a long time. Be quick with it. Yes, if you wish. Oh yeah, and I should also equip my Warhammer plus two plus one electricity damage that I bought a while ago and didn't even equip yet. So there we go. What? Should we rest? Uh -huh. I think we pretty much have all our spells memorized, right? Ah, oh, Jahira is missing a third level spell, but that's not the end of the world. And... Yeah, everyone has all his spells memorized. So we don't actually need to rest. Okay. Yes. What? What do you want? Oh, but I know why we need to rest, right? Because I had that in my notes, we rest, but... Yeah, it's actually because we're going to the graveyard district, and we don't want to be there at night. Huh? If you wish. I got some Because at night, strange things happen in the graveyard district, so... We will simply rest until day. Gather your Yeah, yeah. Where's the bolt on? 